Once again, the toughest, fastest, fiercest, and most steely nerved racers on water compete in another year of thrills, spills, excitement, drama, joy, glory, and sometimes heartache as they do battle in their quest for the most prestigious world championship title in powerboat history. The adventure will take them around the globe to some of the most stunning and exotic locations as tens of thousands watch live or on their televisions across the globe to witness the intense spectacle that is F1H2O racing. Sit back, buckle up, and get ready for one hell of a ride. The 2017 UIM F1H2O World Championship will be contested over seven Grand Prix across Europe, China, Asia, and the Middle East. Hosting the season opener for the eighth time in the Tour's 34-year history is Portimao, which will host the 16th Grand Prix of Portugal raced on the Arad River. From there, the championship heads north to the idyllic spa resort of Evian for the Grand Prix of France to be raced on the shores of Lac Le Mans for a third consecutive year. From Europe, the tour heads east to China for its 16th year of racing and a return to Harbin, the capital and largest city of Heilongjiang province in the northeast, followed by a second race in China and another in Asia to be announced after which the championship heads to the Middle East and the United Arab Emirates, where its two most traditional and established venues in Abu Dhabi and Sharjah will host the season climax that will decide the World Championship for 2017. It promises to be another incredible year of racing and competition, not to mention all the celebration, glamour and festivities that goes into a three-day F1H2O event. It's not just a race, it's a lifestyle. The 2017 season will feature nine teams and 19 drivers from 12 countries. All eyes are on CTIC F1 Shenzhen China team, the defending world team champions, led by the three-time defending world champion Frenchman Philippe Schiap and managed by Philippe Dessertin. Schiap was a tower of consistency in 2016 on the podium in six of seven races, which placed him in an elite group of champions who have won three consecutive world titles. In 2017, he aims to win a fourth consecutive world title, an honor only ever achieved by one other driver, Guido Capellini. Chiap will race with a new teammate, his son-in-law, fellow Frenchman and F1H2O newcomer, Peter Morin. He and Chiap have won the Rouen 24 hour four times together as they now take their partnership into F1H2O. We visited the CTIC F1 Shenzhen China team as they got ready for the new season, getting a glimpse into their preparations for the 2017 campaign. Welcome to the China CTIC team. My name is uh, Philippe Dessertaine. I taking care of the Chinese teas, world champion. First of all, this is uh, first place, like a show. <laughs> Where we have few boats. The first one will be the boat where we can take some VIP and customer. It's a two-seater with double wheel. Then 
This is one part of our stuff. When we are going to a, a Formula One race, we have our propellers, we have all our stuff for uh, Ecom Radio. That was a Formula One spare boat, and uh, we keep this boat like a uh, uh, spare one in case of accident. So now we are on the main entrance of the workshop and uh, we have a special wall with uh, all the victory of the Chinese team and also of the podium that we make in the past. Now we are coming on the main workshop. This is where we prepare the boat of Philippe Schiap. Everything is uh, refreshed, rebuilt. Inside we have a special area where uh, Rudy is making all the electricity, all wiring, all electronic. Uh, for this season, we work uh, the, all this winter with our Canadian doctors uh, to make uh, our engine ready again for this year. We make some verification, some uh, uh, maintenance on the engine and uh, we fix everything. Now we have to finish the boats and try to find time to test them on the water. So we rebuilt and we check everything because the performance, we have it, we got it. So the main point is don't lose any race for next year. So about the atmosphere of the team, I think uh, uh, we, have, uh, we are very really lucky because we have, I think, the best atmosphere during the race side and also we work very hard to have the best atmosphere in the workshop. First of all, good food. So I cook often for the team and uh, people enjoy to be all together. Uh, all the design of the building is made to feel people uh, happy and uh, on a good feeling. Last year, the, the season is uh, perfect. We have uh, we win all uh, pole position, uh, race, and uh, uh, driver team for sure. When you have a, a propeller, engine, mechanic, and uh, boat, you win the championship. Uh, I feel um, for for the team a good season because uh, we have a good condition this winter and uh, we receive a new boat. For me, the biggest uh, point for um, the Formula One is uh, experience now, because I have a more uh, 100 uh, race. It's very important for um, win the race. All um, driver is good, and uh, we have a lot of uh, good teams. The level is very high. For, the, um, for this season, we have a new driver on the second boat. And uh, it's a long story with uh, Peter Moran because uh, we race uh, many years in uh, endurance. We are six-time uh, world champion with, uh, with him and it's a good driver, it's a young, young driver. It's good for me, for the team, for the future, for uh, uh, maintain the level and uh, I hope he arrives to, uh, to drive uh, and make a second uh, driver for a lot of points and help me for the title of the championship. Dubai's most famous international sporting brand names, Victory Team, is going through some dramatic changes, bringing in former Abu Dhabi and Emirates team manager Scott Gilman to lead the Dubai outfit. It features two top-notch drivers. Last year's world runner-up Sean Torrente finished in the top four in all seven races in 2016 and was second only to Shiap. This year, he wants to throw the monkey off his back and finally win the world title that has eluded him year after year. He's joined by another former Emirates team transfer, Ahmed Al Hamali. Who won a memorable seventh Grand Prix title in Liu Zhou last year, his first since overcoming major health issues and he's in it to win it in 2017.
we take a look into the inner workings of the Victory Team Machine. We being one of the youngest team in the championship and we finished second in overall championship. We are very thrilled, very happy, very excited. Sean is a talented driver, we all know that. He is very aggressive. He could win uh, the championship. He has the, the capability to win the championship. And with the help of Victory Team, with our expertiness, we are giving whatever he is looking for. Uh, probably we are the only one team who is uh, doing everything in-house independently on this championship. Uh, we don't rely on um, other suppliers or other like engine tuners or uh, propeller builders. Hi guys, my name is Franco Garvello. We have uh, two Formula One, but uh, we just get the one success race in uh, Sharjah. The other side we have the composite site where we build the boat. We can do some modification for do better and better days. This is the machine shop where we machine all the stuff. And here we have a propeller shop. Normally, one season we go through for each boat more than 20 propellers. And we have uh, this uh, machine that we have software to measure the propeller. And in case we can do some modification, we are able to go to this job. We, the engine basically we build here, uh, we blueprint here, we test in our dyno. We have the V12 engine, the victory team that we do also in the house, that we win a lot of championship with this engine. In the other area here, here we have some mercury that we are testing, and this is the area where we do the Formula One engine. Here is one Formula One engine that we rebuild and blueprint the victory team in the house. I must say that uh, we have a long-term strategy, like we did in Class 1, like we did in XCAT. Our strategy is to win as much as championship starting from 2017 onwards. And we believe we can do it. Emirates team, which was formerly Team EMIC, boasts Norwegian sensation and the only woman driver on the tour, Marit Stromoy of Norway. She won her first Grand Prix title in the last race of 2015, and although she had a patchy year last year, she's geared up for more wins and podiums in 2017. She'll be joined by German former F4 driver Mike Shimura who is on his second year on the tour and looking to build on the impressive three top 10 finishes he managed as a rookie on the tour in 2016. Mad Croc Baba Racing Team is led by two-time world champion Sammy Celio who had his best year on the tour last year since clinching his second world title in 2010. Despite getting off to a terrible start, he found his form halfway through the year, picking up two pole positions, a win in Harbin, and three further podiums. He is, as always, a strong world title contender, and the 41-year-old veteran is looking for a third world championship to add to his trophy collection. He'll be joined once again by his fellow Finnish driver, the ever-improving Philip Roms, who finished sixth last year, as well as a career-best runner-up result in Evian. Sweden had one of its best seasons ever, spearheaded by one of the most exciting and aggressive drivers on the tour. Oh. 
Jonas Anderson, who got his first Grand Prix win since 2008 in Abu Dhabi last year, as well as a runner-up showing and two pole positions, which gave him an overall fourth place finish in 2016. The five-time Grand Prix champion will be looking to carry that form into the new season. He'll be joined by Eric Stark, who returns to the team he started his F1 H2O career in in 2012, replacing Jesper Fors on Team Sweden. The 29-year-old has 20 Grand Prix under his belt, with three podium finishes and a pole position to his name. Always one of the top teams on the tour, Team Abu Dhabi is led by legendary 10-time world champion Guido Capellini, and it's the only team running three drivers in F1 H2O. Two thousand seventeen is my third year, and I push very hard for the results because I have one contract for five years, but I want, I want to win the World Champion. It's possible, clear, but uh, in the short time, and maybe in the 2017. At this time, we are looking, anyone they're looking for, got the result, uh, everything, you cannot stop in uh, one level. So always we are looking for something new. Even now with Guido, we are not stopping. Always we have new idea and uh, try to uh, have a new thing. I don't know, I mean, I'm seeing that Abu Dhabi team always leading to change and to upgrade their team, their boats, because we are not only uh, focusing the result of the boats, no, even uh, to carry uh, Abu Dhabi team in the worldwide. Alex Corella of Italy is a three-time consecutive world champion, and despite just seven years on the F1 H2O Tour, he has racked up an incredible tally of 12 pole positions, 12 Grand Prix wins, and 14 podiums in just 45 race starts. As always, he will be up there competing for the top prize. His teammate, Daniel Kamzi, is a legendary veteran and former world number two with seven career Grand Prix wins and a whopping 23 podium finishes. Their third driver, Rashid Al Kamzi, is a very talented F4 graduate with multiple F4 and Nations Cup wins to his name, and he's hoping to raise eyebrows on the F1 H2O Tour in 2017. We popped into the Team Abu Dhabi workshop and test site to see how their preparations were proceeding for the new season. We are uh, in Italy in the place of the Abu Dhabi workshop. I am Attilio Donzelli, one of the technicians of the team Abu Dhabi. This place is uh, the place where uh, we uh, rigging the boat uh, and uh, we put uh, the engine, uh, we check uh, everything is okay and uh, all ready for, uh, for testing or for uh, go to the race place. This is the dyno room, the part of the control uh, where have the console to check the power, uh, the engine uh, give to the dyno. This engine, after we rebuild it, we tested and they break in before putting the boat to check everything is okay. Here we have many kinds of propeller, different size, different pitch, uh, different diameter. Depend of the race race course, we we choice the some some propeller. We test uh, four, five, six of the different size, different uh, pitch and uh, when we find the, the good propeller, we use this. Uh... There are, uh, they have Giacomo, is working in the engines, and uh, Dennis is work uh, in, uh, in the boat. And uh, when uh, there are the race weekend, we are more people joining to us uh, for, uh, for help. Uh, Guido Capellini won uh, in the, his career, he's a uh, 10-time
world champion and uh, you see here uh, a little part of the trophy he, he won in the Iscaret. Uh, Mr. Capellini is in Abu Dhabi now because uh, uh, there are with the UAE driver to test the, the boat and make uh, training for uh, prepare the new season. The situation for the team, uh, I change a little the, some position, but normally, normally the team working the same setup. I don't have any, any problem this year, apart of some mistake uh, communication for the, for the driver. And I improved the strategy this year, I improved the strategy before the race. And honestly, I not create any, any uh, pressure to the to the driver before the race, but maybe Abu Dhabi is one of the best team, and maybe the pressure is coming in any case. We are preparing uh, some new driver, which is Rashid Al Kamzi and Mohammed Al Muheri. Uh, Rashid Al Kamzi doing well; he is now leading the Formula Four championship. So soon we will see him that in Formula in Formula One. So we have good program for the youth uh, people. You will see them a lot in the Formula 4 and Formula 1. Well, always I said, as I, I expect to improve ourselves, our result. So, always we are, uh, we cannot stop in one level. Always we are asking more and more and more. Uh, I hope to see that Abu Dhabi team in the podium, not one driver, more than one driver. In the end, we need good result. Performance team is led by one of the most successful drivers on the tour, veteran Italian ace Francesco Cantando, a man who boasts 12 Grand Prix wins, 30 podiums, 4 pole positions, and is a former world runner-up. He's been racing on the F1 H2O Tour since 1996, and he's looking to reverse the team's erratic fortunes over the last two seasons. He's joined by teammate Bartek Marsalek of Poland, who finally made his mark in Sharjah last year, where he nabbed his first Q3 result in the BRM pole position and was gunning for a possible podium result before mechanical issues tripped him up. He's expecting his best ever season in 2017 and his performance has been on an upward graph. One Atlantic team features 17-year tour veteran Duarte Benavente of Portugal, who has 142 career events under his belt starting back in 1999 with five podiums and a career best overall seventh place finish to his name. He's still looking for that first Grand Prix title and the Arad River in Portimao in front of his home fans will surely be the event he looks forward to most. Benevente is joined by Australian newcomer Grant Trask, who races in a unique modified boat custom made for the Aussie Ace. In just two Grand Prix showings last year, he proved he could race with the best of them, and all eyes are on the man from down under to see what he can do in 2017. Also back is Maverick F1 team, featuring two Frenchmen, Cedric de Guin, who had a fourth place result at Evian in 2016, and newcomer Amari Jossom, who will be racing in F1 H2O for the first time. It promises to be yet another incredible year of top-notch competition, intense drama, relentless pace, amazing locations, along with a lot of partying. And at every event, the F1 H2O two-seater will be there to give fans the chance to experience the breathtaking thrill of being in an F1 H2O cockpit as you get a sampling of the incredible speeds and G-forces F1 H2O drivers endure on the circuit. You're in for one hell of a ride, so strap in and get ready for round one in Portimao, Portugal, as a 2017 UIM F1H2O World Championship gets underway.